tell me a quick snippet story of the CM Punk Ooh. Teddy Hart scrap. Oh, that was that was uh, I was ringside for that one. That yeah. was front row center. It was hilarious. Um, so there was a, a diner where we all ate that did catering for the show, and myself, Petey, and Chris Saban had just left the diner. Uh, and on our way out of the diner, CM Punk was walking in um, and saying hello to people, and we said our hellos, and then we walked out, and coming up to the diner as we left it was Teddy and his crew. And we said our hellos, and we walked past, and there was a little hill, and we started up the hill, and I believe it was Chris Sabin who turned and said, hey, that was Teddy Hart, and he's going in, while CM Punk is there having lunch, and all of us kind of wide-eyed went, oh, shit. So we missed the interaction that went on in the diner, which was basically, you have a problem with me? Yep. I have a problem with you? Yep. Let's go outside and talk. Okay. So they, it was about that time where we had, we'd only gone like 30, 40, maybe 50 meters. <laughs> Turned around and we're walking back down, and there was a single park car. <clears throat> And as we come out, or as we were coming up to this single parked car, Ted and Punk come out. Ted is taking off a, a, a Walkman headset thing that he's wearing. I don't know if it was an iPad or an iPod or what at the time, but taking off his headphones, puts whatever he was carrying down on this car, and uh, they face off. And basically, Punk's got this smirk on his face. Says something, Ted says, to the best of my knowledge, yeah, basically, yeah, fuck you. Uh, <laughs> Punk slaps Ted. Ted grabs Punk and starts just drilling him in the face. Um, quick scuffle of exchange. Punk ends up slipped onto his butt and Ted starts kicking him, at which point Sabu jumps in. Sabu jumps in the middle, starts covering Punk, but at the same time as grabbing Ted and trying to pull him off as Ted starts kicking Sabu repeatedly. So it's at this point that I, I grab Ted, and I'm, I literally, I'm the one who waist-locked Ted and pulled him back um, because I didn't want him to kick Sabu anymore. It was more about, I, I would have loved to have let that fight go. I would have loved to have let that fight go and seen a full outcome to it, but ultimately the fight was cut short. <clears throat> But I think it could have gone on at least a good couple more minutes and been highly entertaining. Had Sabu joined in the mix, like as a as a competitor in the war, oh, who do you think would have taken that? Oh, geez, if <laughs> if it had turned into a three way there, yeah. Um, well, I'm pretty sure Sabu would have leg dived Teddy right there, so it would have been just about anybody's game. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah. I would have had to still given the edge on that one, probably to Ted, just based on the fact that he was probably on something. <laughs> so he would have had uh, 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 that little bit extra to go on. That, you know, and, he, and he's batshit crazy as well. Well, and, and Punk's straight edge, right? So yeah. you know he's straight, so we're, you know, he's good. And, but Sabu's getting older at that point and pretty beat up, so I'm pretty sure Ted had the youth advantage on him there. So. 